As reported in Times of India, India has asked France to arm the first four Rafale fighters with the Meteor air-to-air -air missiles. India is expected to receive the first Rafale fighters in May of next year. Indian Defense Minister has conveyed to France to deliver at least 8 to 10 Meteor beyond visual range BVR missiles along with the four jets. Earlier, it was thought that the Meteor will be delivered at a later date. The Indian side now wants the Rafale to fly with Meteor from the very beginning. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Pakistan and China will have no answer to India's French-made Rafale armed with Meteor missiles. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. India had selected Rafale to strengthen its dwindling fighter fleet after an extensive evaluation. The contest featured six fighter aircraft – Boeing FA-18 E and F Super Hornet, Dassault Rafale, Eurofighter Typhoon, Lockheed Martin F-16 Fighting Falcon, Mikoyan MiG-35 and Saab JAS-39 Gripen. On the 27th of April 2011, after an extensive and detailed technical examination by the Indian Air Force, it reduced the bidders to two fighters, Eurofighter Typhoon and Dassault Rafale. On the 31st of January 2012, it was announced that Dassault Rafale had won the competition due to its lower life cycle cost. Dassault Rafale is currently the most advanced fighter jet deployed by France. It's a twin-engine Canard Delta Wing multi-role fighter aircraft designed and built by Dassault Aviation. Equipped with a wide range of weapons, the Rafale is intended to perform air supremacy, interdiction, aerial reconnaissance, ground support, in-depth strike, anti-ship strike and nuclear deterrence missions. The Rafale is referred to as an omni-role aircraft by Dassault. India is getting 36 of these jets with the possible addition of another 36 in the future. The request needs to be seen in the context of the recent aerial skirmish between Indian and Pakistani fighters. Viewers may note that on the 27th of February, a day after the bombing of the GEM terrorist training facility in Pakistan by the Indian Air Force, a short air battle ensued between Indian and Pakistani fighters. The Indian Sukhoi 30 MKIs and other jets scrambled to intercept the incoming Pakistani fighters had found it difficult to engage the F-16s as they were outranged. The Pakistani F-16s were armed with the AIM-120C Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missiles AMRAMs, which have a range of about 105 kilometers or about 65 miles, whereas the Indian fighters had Russian-made R-77 that has a range of around 80 kilometers or around 50 miles. Pakistani fighters fired several of them at the Sukhoi-30 MKIs before the latter could even get into their firing range. The Su-30 MKIs were able to jam the missile and they fell to the ground harmlessly. Indian Air Force had displayed parts of the AIM-120C-5 fired by the F-16 during a press briefing. Though one of the Indian MiG-21 piloted by Wing Commander Abhinandan Varthaman shot down a retreating Pakistani F-16 with a short-range R-73 missile, this was a wake-up call for the Indian Air Force. It was clear that a better air-to-air -air missile was needed in the inventory. Meteor Missile is developed by MBDA and is based on the requirement derived from six nations 
and is currently considered to be the most lethal air-to-air -air missile in the world. The missile is designed from the ground up to meet not only today's threats but also future ones. It's capable of engaging fast agile jets to small unmanned aerial vehicles, as well as cruise missiles in extreme weather conditions. Meteor has super aerodynamics and propulsion performance, enabling it to pull off intense turn angles when pursuing an agile target like a modern super maneuverable fighter. Currently, it will be deployed with Eurofighter Typhoon, Dassault Rafale, and Saab JAS-39 Gripen. It will also be integrated with F-35 going forward. The main differentiator of Meteor is its range. With 150 kilometers or around 93 miles range, it provides an ultra-long range interception capability against fighter-sized targets, critical in attaining first look, first shoot, first kill capability. The only other air-to-air -air missile which has a range similar to Meteor is the AIM-120D. Meteor's range will ensure that Indian fighters will outgun any missile that can be unleashed by Pakistani or Chinese jets. Meteor also has excellent kinetic performance due to its state-of-the-art propulsion system which utilizes ramjet. A conventional solid fuel booster accelerates the Meteor after launch like most air-to-air -air missiles. But after that, the missile uses ramjet propulsion. Speeding through the air, the missile opens up an intake channel, allowing air to rush into the ramjet engine which heats up the oxygen and propels the supersonic missile to Mach 4. Not only that, the missile can adjust how much oxygen it breathes, conserving energy during the coast phase, only to take a deep breath in the final moments before hitting a target. The result is that if a targeted plane tries to dodge out of the way, Meteor can overcome it by summoning more thrust, and thus more maneuverability during those critical final few seconds. The engine's two air intakes, positioned on both sides of the lower part of the missile's body, are shaped to reduce the missile's radar cross-section RCS, and gives it a stealthy profile. According to the MBDA, in a head-on engagement, the Meteor provides a no-escape zone three times greater than that of a conventionally powered missile. With the Meteor launched in pursuit of a target, a tail chase engagement, the Meteor is five times as lethal as a conventional equivalent such as the American AMRAAM. The no escape zone is an aerial combat term for a cone-shaped area determined by the missile's capabilities. From where a targeted aircraft cannot escape solely using its own maneuverability. To survive the no escape zone, a fighter jet has to be able to jam, electronic countermeasure, the seeker of the incoming missile or deceive it by firing chaff, strips of metal foil, to obstruct radar detection. Meteor uses different guidance for mid-course navigation and terminal phase. Initial guidance is provided by the Inertial Navigation System INS, combined with updates from aircraft through a data link. In the terminal phase, as the missile nears the target, active radar homing kicks in. Active radar homing is a missile guidance method in which a missile contains a radar transmitter and receiver, and the electronics necessary for it to find and track its target autonomously. To ensure total target destruction, the missile is equipped with a combination of Saab's dynamic proximity and impact fuses and a fragmentation warhead that's detonated at the optimal point to maximize chances of target termination. Air superiority is key to any modern-day battle scenario. A potent fighter armed with a lethal air-to-air -air missile can change the dynamics of air battles. This will be the exact scenario when Indian Air Force gets the Rafale armed with Meteor. Meteor's capabilities make it a game-changer. Pakistan and China currently don't have any missile in this class in their combat inventories. Add to this, India is also getting the S-400 air defense system from Russia which is considered to be the best in the world. This will further enhance India's ability to repeal any Pakistani or Chinese attack. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.